Good day, welcome. This is your Daily Med with Lady V. Today we look at uh, Ephesians 1 verse 7, also found in Colossians 1 verse 14. Today we are talking about uh, redemption. This describes the aspect of the work of Christ by which we are freed from the bondage and the guilt of sin and introduced into a life of freedom. So the Lord Jesus is the Redeemer. The Bible tells us it's in him we have redemption. Ephesians 1 and verse 7. In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sin according to the riches of his grace. So we have been redeemed and forgiven of all our sins. The debt against us has been cancelled because we are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. His blood is the ransom price and nothing else would do. The sacrifice of his life that he gave is sufficient to satisfy God. One of the results of redemption, as we say, our sins are forgiven. It is cast into the sea of forgetfulness where Jesus says he remembers it no more. He also says as far as the east is from the west, so as he cast our sins from us. So when justice demanded that we pay the price, we could not pay of ourselves. And God mercy steps in. He gave his own life. So the measure of our forgiveness is given in the words that tell us it is according to the riches of is grace. How do we measure the riches of God's grace? If we can, then we would have fully known. But because we can't, it is infinite. His grace is infinite. His forgiveness is infinite. And we often sing, we will never know how much it costs to see our sins upon the cross. It cost Christ his whole life. We look at a story in the Old Testament in the book of Hosea, minor prophet, where Hosea had a wife. His wife was with him and she has children and they had their home all established. For some reason that wife became unfaithful, left home and went about to be with other men. God told the prophet go back and get your wife. She is being sold in the slave market. You see, redemption is the act whereby we were brought from the slave market of sin. The Lord Jesus Christ paid that price that they were asking for us. 
So in this story, there was a price tag on Goma. The price tag was high. That when Ozia got there, he didn't have enough to pay for his wife. Remember, she was maybe battered, bruised, broken, damaged. Truth be told, maybe not worth much. Just like as we are when we are in sin. But the price tag was there. We will auction her off. We are going to sell her. But this is the price. And so he went home. Begin to take the stuff that he has in his house. And sell them. So that he could come up with the money. To go there and redeem. Or to buy back his wife. One aspect of what we see is that. Uh, when you are redeeming something. It means you already had it. He already had his wife. He was really legally, she was really his. But because of what happened, he had to go back and buy her. But as we say, the Old Testament is a shadow of that which is to come. So it was depicting our redemption that Jesus Christ had to pay the ransom price. And that he had to buy us back from the slave market of sin and that the high price that he paid was with his own life remember god owns us in the first place because it is he who created us the scripture tells us and not we ourselves but when we went into sin for us to come back to god Jesus had to pay the price and it is the sacrifice of his own life that was sufficient and so this sacrifice satisfies God when the prophet paid for his wife the high price that he paid satisfy those that were selling her in the slave market but the lesson God wanted his people there to learn in the Old Testament is that they had a good life with him, but wandered away from him to serve idols, to serve other gods, and he calls it adultery, just like how she went out with the other men. But he was willing, as Jesus did, to buy them back, to redeem them, and so it is with us. So Jesus Christ is the one in whom we have redemption. The one who forgives us of our sins. The one who buys us back from the slave market. The one who pays the high price tag. In fact, he says, Father, the price that you want to redeem them, I am willing to shed my blood to purchase them. So since we have been bought with a price, it cost Jesus a tremendous cost. He gave his life. It is clear then that we no longer belong to ourselves. We have been bought with a price, the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Therefore, we should not live our lives unto ourselves, but we should live as unto him. Now we belong to him. Therefore, if we take ourselves or our lives and use it for anything else that does not glorify God. One, we are a thief because we are taking that which does not belong to us. And we know that because he has redeemed us, he has given us the forgiveness of sins. As we are saying, it means that God has canceled the debt which our sins incurred. 
the Lord Jesus Christ paid the penalty on the cross and it never needs to be paid again this is for our past sins our present sins and even for our sins in the future so according to the word of god the account is settled the account is closed and guess what god has not only forgiven but he has removed our sins we say according to psalm 103 verse 12 as far as the east is from the west today if you have not yet known him remember he shed his precious blood on the cross of calvary to redeem you from your sins god bless you thank you again for your continued